Reporting live from the Western Trium House Hotel in Blue Mountain in Collingwood, Ontario. It's live from last week, episode 59. Let's go! Welcome, you, my fellow Jaywalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. But before you go on, just have a quick shameless plug. Be sure to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So today is February 1st. Happy February, everyone. And a very happy Chinese New Year to everybody out there. And while we're on the topic of celebrations, we got a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. First, I have a birthday greeting to one of my cousins in the Philippines. Noi Noi. Happy birthday, Noi Noi. Next, a couple of beach volleyball friends of mine. The first one, who I've known for years, who's always down for pickup volleyball. This one goes out to you, Sean. Happy birthday, Sean. Next, a birthday greeting to one of my friends who inspires me with his stand-up paddleboarding videos. And for you, this one's a birthday greeting for Joseph. Happy birthday, Joseph. On to the next birthday greeting to somebody who inspires me with his physical activities as well as his charity work. And this birthday greeting goes out to you, Jagger. Happy birthday, Jagger. And last but not least, I have a birthday greeting to one of my nieces, who, if you guys can recall, was a part of that Kin J Nails performance from my wedding. And this one goes out to my niece, Nai Nai. Happy birthday, Candice. Hoping everybody out there that's celebrating their birthday is doing well, staying safe and healthy, and have celebrated their birthdays to the fullest this year. But yeah, moving on. We're gonna take out this Chinese food that we're getting from Perfect and visit my parents for dinner tonight. This morning, I'm just getting home after dropping off the wife downtown for her day shift at work. And I realized that today is actually February 2nd, AKA Groundhog Day. So as a yearly custom, I checked out YouTube to see if Wyrton Willie saw his shadow, meaning an extra six weeks of winter, or if he didn't, meaning an early spring. Okay. I'm gonna let you do your thing. Mayor right. Janice Jackson is the only person in all of the land that can have that conversation with Willie to find out if it is, Six more weeks of winter or an early spring, do your All thing. Alright, alright, here we go. Will it be six more weeks of winter or an early spring? Willie says, it's an early spring. Oh wow, yes, early spring everybody. You heard it here first from Mayor Janice Jackson and of course, right from Willie's mouth himself. And like we said, if you didn't hear already, Willie predicts an early spring. What? You heard that guys? It's an early spring! An early spring! Yo! Gotta get my glasses on. Gotta take off my toque. Gotta take off my winter jacket. Yo! We're one step closer to summer. Let's go! Now, keeping up with the positive vibes and the celebrations, I just want to show you a milestone for my mini that we experienced a couple days ago. I was gonna say we were gonna reach a milestone for the mini but we're stuck in traffic. But we're at 909, was it? 99,999 kilometers for the Mini. This is a long kilometer. Oh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 100,000 K. I mean, 100,000, AKA 100 K. Yay. After that happened, I celebrated by buying some butter chicken at a local restaurant not too far from here. Since it was the first time I had butter chicken, believe it or not, in over a year. And boy, was it ever delicious. It's good. Another thing was that yesterday at Scarborough Town Center, the wife and I for Chinese New Year stopped by and went shopping for a little bit. And in the middle of the mall, they had this beautiful display for Chinese New Year which obviously we had to do a little photo and video shoot before we continued on shopping. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, go ahead. 
Happy New Year! But for the real reason we were there was to go to this Asian specialty store called Muji and buy their famous gel ink pens that I love to use at work. And the cool thing was that they actually had a promo to scratch and win a percentage off our purchase. 10%! Ooh. Which, what do you know, I got 20% off my box of pens. So, if you guys are going into Muji anytime soon, be sure to take advantage of that promo. Also, on our way to have dinner with my parents last night, the Mini got its first taste of having the sunroof open in 2022. February 1st, sunroof is out. Then, when we got home after having Chinese food with the parents, the wife and I chilled and relaxed for the rest of the night and actually continued and finished another season, season 15 of The Amazing Race. And of course, what do you think? We actually started another new season of The Amazing Race, season 16. But yeah, anyways, after recapping all of that, and before I go in for my first of my two night shifts, doing a stretch of four and five nights, we just want to do a quick birthday shout out to a couple of friends of mine. First, a birthday greeting to one of my friends in FSAT when I was in university. With this birthday greeting going out to you, Kate. Happy birthday, Kate. Next, a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends that I used to play street hockey with after school all the time. And you know who you are. This birthday greeting goes out to Keegan. Happy birthday, Keegan. Last but not least, a birthday shout out to one of my buddies that I met at FSAT who I've played with in pickup tennis and pickup baseball in the past. Not to mention his amazing skills on the piano. Anyways, this birthday greeting goes out to you, Timmy. Happy birthday, Timmy. I'm hoping all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. So, I'm just in the middle of a pair of night shifts right now. And after my shift this morning, I went to Nofro's to get some food. Which, in the afternoon today, after I slept, I went to the fridge and took it out and prepared it so that the wife has something for dinner after her day shift today. And check this out, it's a teriyaki stir fry with veggies and noodles that, on the bag, it claims it can be ready in just 7 minutes. So this evening, I went at it, started cooking, and BAM! We have a dish that will hopefully put a smile on the wife's face when she gets home after a long day of work. But moving on, do you guys remember this scene from a couple of weeks ago? And one thing that I wanted to do today was to take the GoPro out and do a couple of POV videos on a playlist for you of the trails here at Blue Mountain. Well guess what? I have finally made a playlist of those POV videos for you guys. For the past couple of days, all through the day and all through the night, I've been working on those POV videos of snowboarding for you guys with a preview of the footage that I've been editing. And as you guys can see, it has both a Blue Mountain map, the trail itself, as well as a POV of the snowboarding session, just as if you were on the hills in person. And all these videos you can easily find on the Jaywalker POV, Jplayer POV playlist on YouTube. I'll also put a couple of links of the videos in the description below so you guys can be free to check those out. And keep in mind, every time I go to Blue Mountain, there will be more videos added to the playlist. And you guys can be sure that I'll keep you guys posted when those new videos come out. But anyways, before I go on for my night shift tonight, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with one of my Ryerson Catholic chaplaincy slash YSIC friends slash nursing friends from back in the day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Alyssa. Happy birthday, Alyssa. And my next birthday greeting goes out to one of my cousins in the Philippines from Iloilo to Manila when I last saw him with his brother, RR. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Archie. Happy birthday, Chi. I'm hoping that both of y'all are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had great celebrations for your birthdays this year. Guys, to be honest, I am pretty tired. Mainly because I only got this much sleep post night shift. And I'm thinking it's because I was too busy staying up in the morning, catching the 2022 Beijing Winter Olympics opening ceremony. And of course, I had to get my Olympic shirt on, 
and watch some Olympics action before I got to bed post night shift this morning. Woo! 2022 Beijing Olympics! Let's go Canada! But yeah, currently I'm in downtown Toronto waiting for the wife to get off work and it's mad crazy busy traffic here right now. As you guys can tell by the Google Maps. Mainly because they closed off a couple of roads in the area to get ready for this truckers protest that is going to happen at Queen's Park this weekend. So yeah, I got here a little bit delayed, but don't worry wife, I'm going to pick you up at work right now. Continuing on, before we made it home tonight, the mini was complaining that it was a little bit hungry. So I treated her out to a nice expensive Friday night dinner. Woo! New record for the mini on a fill up. This thing is getting pretty expensive. But you know what guys? Anything for my mini. But yeah guys, gas prices are going nuts right now. So it's easy to say that the dinner that I treated the mini out to earlier was definitely not cheap. But on the topic of dinner, since it's her payday, the wife treated us out to some takeout dinner at a restaurant that she's always wanted to take me to. And the Mexican specialty food place that she took us to was called Mexitaco. But yeah guys, based on that video that I just showed you, y'all already know that the food that we had tonight was good. So if you're ever thinking about what to have for dinner tonight, I'd say Mexitaco is a good option. But continuing on with the good themes, guess which one of my favorite NBA players made the NBA All-Star team this year? None other than Raptors guard, Freddie Van Vliet. Way to go Freddie! First time All-Star, baby! And wrapping it up tonight, we have a birthday greeting to one of my friends out there who was actually one of the former parents of my Mini Cooper who previously named my baby Mini Cooper, Minnie Mouse. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Abigail. Happy birthday, Abby! Personally, from me and the Mini, hope you are doing well, staying safe and healthy out there and I'm hoping that you had great celebrations for your birthday this year. Earlier this morning, I was feeling really motivated. One of the reasons being, I turned on the TV and started watching the Olympic athletes go to work. With these athletes just blistering down the hill, with numerous mounds that they have to weave through, then out of nowhere doing 360s, flips, spins, doing aerial acrobatics that I can't even fathom, then sticking to landing and skiing all the way to the finish line. So pretty much what I'm saying is that Olympic moguls is one of my favorite winter Olympic sports. And I think that it actually got me pretty inspired today to make a start lifting weights again and actually doing a workout for the first time in over a month. So yeah, after busting out a sweat earlier, I'm remembering that I'm going in for my first of my two night shifts tonight. My third shift in four nights. But before I go in for work tonight, I have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my friends that I made back in 2011 for World Youth Day. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Naomi. Happy birthday, Naomi. Next, we have some birthday greetings for a couple of people back from my dance school days. We're wishing a happy birthday to proud dance mom, Denise, the mom of Shelby, and proud dance mom, Kim, mother of Emily. As well as a happy birthday to Michael, brother of Katie, son of Susan and Kenny. 
And now, to wrap it up for birthday greetings, we have birthday shoutouts to a couple of my nursing friends. Starting with, a happy birthday greeting to Carla, and a happy birthday greeting to Sarah. Happy birthday, guys. I'm hoping that everybody that's celebrating their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and have great celebrations for your birthdays as well. So just before I got on to night shift last night, as you guys can tell by the numerous costume changes in these scenes, the wife and I finished watching season 16 of The Amazing Race. But on to earlier today, we had a new special guest in the mini carpool. My co-worker, Adam. <laughs> it's so dark. It was dark. <laughs> Here, let, <laughs> let, me, let me go into the light. That should be good. Yeah, yeah there you yeah. go. Hey, Adam. <laughs> Thanks for riding with me today, man. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Saved thank you, you like an you. hour from yeah. TTC ride because today's Sunday, right? Yeah. You did my day. <laughs> thank you. All right. Thank you're you. welcome. <laughs> so yeah, thanks again for that commute with me, Adam. And I'm looking forward to more mini carpool segments with you in the future. But yeah, during shift last night, I was thinking if I have enough energy tomorrow morning after my night shift, I just might do a spontaneous trip to go straight from work downtown all the way to snowboard at Blue Mountain. So earlier today, I went to the locker, got my snowboarding stuff out, and as you guys can see, packed the mini. So if I do decide to take the two and a half hour drive up north and go snowboarding at Blue Mountain, I'll be ready. But before I go in for my second of my two night shifts, my fourth in five nights, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my classmates in university at Ryerson. We've got a happy birthday greeting to Kelly. Happy birthday, Kelly. Next, a birthday greeting to one of my favorite high school classmates back in the day. This one goes out to my HD classmate, Lana. Happy birthday, Alana. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my former coworkers with whom I made this video for him a couple years back. But yeah, to one of my good friends who I played tennis with in the summer, this birthday greeting goes out to you, Elmer. Happy birthday, Elmer. I'm hoping all y'all that are having your birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that we will reconnect sometime in the near future. So we're just getting ready for my spontaneous day while well, thinking about going snowboarding all night during my shift, and I'm getting changed out of my scrubs at work. But before we do anything, it's time to teleport to a post night shift session at Blue Mountain. I hope you guys enjoyed that video of me snowboarding after four night shifts in five nights. Coming off last night's night shift on no sleep. But anyways guys, on to the spontaneous day that I'm having today. I have a couple of stories to tell you guys on just how this day went. 
So after work and reuniting myself with the Mini in the best possible parking spot that I have ever found in the parking garage, I heard that one of my friends, Karen, was at Blue Mountain. And that was just one of the many reasons why I decided to go and spontaneously make a trip up there today. So I started to make my way driving to get there in that two hour time span for this trip, making a quick stop at the gym in Barrie to make use of my membership and do my monthly workout. But also while I was there, I was working on uploading the video of my Jay Walker POV in 60 video of a night snowboarding session a couple weeks back, which was obviously another reason why I wanted to go snowboarding so bad today. Then I stopped by a local Harvey's to get some breakfast, mainly because on a previous trip, I saw that there was a $5 meal deal for breakfast that I just had to take advantage of. But then when I finally arrived at Blue Mountain, I messaged Karen, but she told me that she was off the slopes and already leaving. And I was like, what the heck, man? I spent over two hours driving to you to visit you and I don't even get to see you? So I convinced her and her family to stay a little bit so that I can at least go visit them. The cool thing was I got to see her and her children for the first time in years since before the pandemic started and got to reunite with them with a couple of clips shown here. That baby. Look at that baby. Sorry. Oh my gosh. What's this one's little name? Ryder. This little one's name is Ryder. Yeah. Say hi to Tito Jay. <laughs> oh, he's showing you. Cool. A black smoke. Black smoke. Yeah. Renner showing me how to do geology. <laughs> sorry for Bailey. I'm sorry. <laughs> There's a little one. Look at that. Renner. Renner, say hi to the Janelle. Hi to the Janelle. <laughs> Then I think she felt a little bit guilty and let me know that they had a late checkout and that they were leaving but let me stay a little bit to enjoy the Blue Mountain Resort hotel room. So what did I do? I decided to take full advantage of this by checking out their beautiful washroom and finally taking my post night shift shower. And look at the options that I had in this bathroom. A handheld shower spray or the rainfall shower head. And after my shower, the best thing happened. I looked behind the door and guess what was there? That's right, a robe. So obviously, I had to put it on, strut my stuff, and do my patented Ric Flair walk. Ric Flair, baby! Woo! I also took advantage of the views that I had from their hotel room, made myself a coffee, and drank it from the balcony as if I owned the place. Then, in the usual post-night shift tradition, I passed out on the couch. Just kidding, no sleep today guys. I headed straight for the slopes and started my snowboarding video. But now I'm in the Yorkdale area, summoned here by my sister, cause she looked online and said that she wanted to buy a bucket of tea leaves. And this tea must be special because it was on sale for 23 bucks. So now here I am at a local shop called Chai Walla Chai. Made an online order for my sister and picked up the coveted tea leaves that she was bothering me about. But yeah, the night's almost done, but I still have to pick up the wife from work after her day shift. But before I do that and wrap up this episode for this week, I just have a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends back in elementary and high school. This birthday greeting goes out to Crystal. Happy birthday, Crystal. Hope you're doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and I'm hoping that you had a great birthday celebration this year. But moving on and wrapping up this week's episode, that pretty much, well, wraps up this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video subscribe to the channel and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from jaywalker pov come out and once again i'd like to thank you guys for watching stay safe and healthy out there and we'll see you next time on live from last week